What is going on guys? We are in today with a workout video. I know that we don't, I don't actually do too many of these, but um, this one was uh, requested by a client of mine to do a barbell and dumbbell only workout at home. So we're going to run through it now and uh, just see obviously if you guys can complete it at home. So now I only did one round of everything because I only want to do one round of everything, but you can follow along with this. I'm not speeding it up at all. So Obviously, very essential to make sure we warm up. Now, I go through this with all of my clients. This kind of warm up is very, very good with the resistance band. You're aiming to just fire up all the little muscles inside of the shoulder, inside the hip. Okay, that's super, super important. So we're going in with some shoulder dislocates. We're going in with some, making sure we're keeping those elbows nice and tight. Really just pull that band apart. You're not trying to do a really heavy band. You're not trying to have loads of resistance on the band. You're simply trying to just get a little bit of fatigue going in the muscles in the rotator cuff muscles specifically for the shoulder and in the hip flexors, adductors, adductors, um, and in all of the, you know, the ligaments and the tendons in the actual hip themselves, because that's super, super important. If you really take your time and fire up all the little muscles, the big muscles will take care of themselves. So it's super, super important that you actually take your time, fire up these muscles, really take your time with the warm up. It doesn't take long. I warm up for all of like two minutes, three minutes, but it just gets everything going, gets the heart rate up, gets the synovial fluid moving around all the joints and really just obviously take care of your muscles because it's super, super important. Now, injury is one of the biggest things that actually hold us back when we do exercise. So it is extremely important to ensure that we take our time with warming up. So this is a warm up that was shown to me by a competition bodybuilder and it is absolutely fantastic if I'm doing it every single day. So yeah, really take your time, keep the tension on the band. Again, just, you're not trying to create loads of tension. You're not try and just trying to control the movements that you see me doing here. So now we're moving in to some hip warming up exercises. And this is just what you're essentially doing is going into a push-up position and then all you're trying to do is bring your heel right up to where your palms are. And this will really sort of open up your hips, get everything a little bit stretched out. And then we're just going with some thoracic rotations as well to really ensure that we're moving and the body as well, the, the spine as well, making sure that the spine's warmed up, making sure that the the upper part of the back is moved up you know we're getting our chest and our arms moving we're getting the elbows and the wrists moving and everything like that if you are unable to do this because of wrist pain or you know anything like that then use some parallettes use some like push-up stands or do it on your fists again that's a really really good way of ensuring that you can move through this and complete it properly so we're moving into something that i found on tiktok actually quite a while ago it's called thor's workout or Thor's warm up. Really, really cool. So it's 10 repetitions of each exercise you see me doing here. So we've got 10 repetitions of bicep curls. Now you can do this with any kind of barbell that you have on hand, um, whether it's a uh, eight kilo barbell, 10, 15 or 20, or you can put some more weight on if you want to challenge yourself really. So after we've done our bicep curls, we go into shoulder press. Unfortunately, I didn't set the camera up well enough. I was, I was by myself. Um, then 10 repetitions over there, and then we move into 10 repetitions of tricep extensions. Now, when you're doing the tricep extensions, it's really important that you try and get those elbows in. Obviously, like you see here, the, the 20 kilo barbell, it's quite heavy to do it very strict, but what you're essentially really aiming to do, regardless of your elbows, keep your core nice and tight, bum nice and tight, so that you don't swing and you don't throw that weight around. Remember, it's all about controlling. Straight from there, we go into 10 squats, making sure we really, really screw our feet into the ground to ensure that we're squeezing that bum and going through a full range of motion. Go as deep as you can uh, while ensuring. So this is as deep as I can go without any knee pain. And if I go any deeper, it, it just causes me pain. From there, we're throwing it straight back over. We're going into some RDLs. RDLs, fantastic for hamstrings, glutes. Really ensure you drive the hips back, really drive the bum back, allow the barbell to follow down your legs, to hip, push those hips through at the top, and you'll be absolutely golden. From there, I actually get, as you can see, I'm taking a moment to think because I completely forgot what I had to do. But we end up going into some chest floor press, which is absolutely awesome. I love this. This takes a bit of a second to warm up, uh, so as to get into position. So now we go into 10 repetitions of floor press, and then we finish with 10 repetitions of sit-ups. Now, this is hits all the major muscle groups. It hits all the joints. It's absolutely brilliant. I love this. So what I would recommend you do is you do this 
three rounds with no rest and you will be your whole body will be pumped up you're getting a really really good pump it's really really good for all the obviously if you don't go too heavy really really good for all the joints ligaments you know you're getting a, it's more high repetitions again if you want to challenge yourself even further then do 15 or 20 repetitions of each exercise rather than 10 and maybe do less rounds but my recommendation is to do three rounds back to back without thinking about it okay now because we want to work on our grip grip is something that i see a lot with clients they really really struggle with grip and then obviously controlling your legs and balance now this is a very good all-round exercise in terms of balance as well as stability in the core stability in the glutes and the legs is walking lunges walking farm farmer carry i suppose you could also call it so making sure we pick a relatively lightweight don't slam that knee down to the floor nice and controlled reps okay you want to go for 30 repetitions two rounds of 30 repetitions okay back and forth now we move into i always forget what this is called uh it's called different things um it's uh, i suppose a push-up pendlay row or a renegade row different things of calling it what you want to ensure that is in this is again you're keeping your core tight you're keeping your glutes tight and you have a nice wide stance now obviously i'm using hex dumbbells here you might not have access to hex dumbbells hex dumbbells make it easier because obviously they're nice and flat on one side if you are going to use rounded dumbbells obviously that's going to be even better for the shoulders because it's going to have to force you to keep in a very specific plane of motion and ensure that you can control the repetition throughout the whole repetition now Again, 10 repetitions here, two rounds of 10 repetitions uh, on each side. Uh, I don't know if, I think I did 10 in total here rather than 10 on each side. Again, don't wanna to go too heavy here. You're emphasizing, you can see I'm throwing my elbows back, really emphasizing on squeezing those traps as much as you physically can on the way up and not using your bicep too much and not using your traps too much okay super super important as really really good exercise but super super important that you nail the form on that one you don't want to feel it in your lower back at all you want to keep your core nice and tight okay now speaking of core to end on a high note you're going to do two repetition two rounds of this 10 repetitions now this is an absolute killer you'll see my face at the end of this is absolutely annihilated me so this is a leg lower into a thrust i suppose um oh i like yeah, you can see I'm pushing my bum up in the air when I'm at the top of the range of motion and I'm not allowing my feet to touch the floor or I'm just tapping the floor. I'm not resting between each repetition. And then at the end of the 10 reps, like now, I'm going into just 10 like crunches, like reverse crunches. That's what they are, reverse crunches. Again, the lactic acid buildup in this is heinous. This will absolutely destroy your abs. It is absolutely amazing. So again, two rounds of this, absolutely smash this. And then that is the full workout done. This took me like 15 minutes to do one round of everything. So, and that was with, you know, not very much time at all. Like it really, really didn't take me much time. So you'd easily be able to smash this out in half an hour if you do two repetitions of everything. Thor's workout, again, if you want to do two repetitions of a little bit higher stuff, go for it. The main thing to ensure is form above everything. Make sure you keep your core tight. Make sure you keep your glutes tight. Don't use your back unless you are purposely trying to and ensure that you get a good stretch and squeeze of those muscles. Ensure that your wrists are all nice and line. Think about stacking the joints, okay? Wrists over elbows, elbows over shoulders, whether it's ankles over, you know, knees over ankles, hips over knees. Make sure that everything's in a nice straight line. Make sure you're activating the muscles properly. Obviously, if you've got any pain or any issues, then don't continue with exercise. Make sure that you seek professional advice. Other than that, guys, just a quick one, uh, because I know some people have been asking about different things. You can do Thor's workout with dumbbells if you prefer, if you only have dumbbells. You can do nearly all of this with bands as well if you want to, which uh, just takes a little bit of time figuring out. All of this has been designed perfect purposefully to work on balance coordination strength and cardio so it's a full well-rounded exercise it'll take you up to half an hour or if you want to smash three rounds of everything 45 minutes to complete so there's no excuse not to do it other than that guys make sure you tune in next week for the next video of i think we're moving on to trauma informed coaching power parenting power pack and how we can then obviously my story and work and all those things out. But other than that, share this with some friends, see if you can get some people to compete and go head to head and see who does it in a quicker time. Other than that, don't forget to like and comment your thoughts on the video.